Singapore Fried Vermicelli is a Hong Kong cafe favorite. This super popular noodle dish is easily made at home. Let me show you just how easy it is. You'll never order it again. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera, and we're all about simple food, simple faith. You'll be surprised to hear that this dish actually is not Singaporean at all. It was created by the Cantonese and served up at Hong Kong style cafes in, well, Hong Kong and now all over the place. I'm using these very thin rice vermicelli noodles today. And when you buy it, it's dried. And every single package of rice noodles has its own instructions on how to um, prepare it for fried noodles. So just follow the instructions on the package that you purchase. I used five ounces of that package, which is about half, and this is how much noodles you get. It's a lot, dude. So I just prepared this noodle and I let it um, drain and we want it to be dry, but still moist when we cook it. So once you finish preparing the noodles, it's a good idea to put a wet towel over top just to make sure that the moisture stays in the noodles. Next, I'm going to cut up my veggies. I have a very small red bell pepper. They're, I think they're called sweet mini bells. Anyways, I got a small one because they didn't have any big ones and it was actually quite cheap to buy a full bag of little peppers. So that's what I'm using today. Um, if you can only get the regular red peppers, then just use half. Oh, barely any seeds in here. I'm gonna cut them into short slivers, just easier to eat. And again, this is like a sweet red bell pepper. If you want it to be more spicy, you can use a, well, a spicier pepper. As in a chili pepper? If you want to. You just don't need as much. I also have a very small onion. You can use half an onion or just a small one like this. And I'm also going to just cut it up into slivers about the same size as the peppers. And I like to cut them from top to bottom so I feel that they hold its shape better. have two cloves of garlic. You can add more or omit if you don't like garlic. It's totally up to you. I'm just gonna chop it up. I'm using two stalks of green onion that I'm going to julienne. And you can cut them up however you want. It's springtime, so I am actually planting these and it will grow new green onions, just FYI. I'm gonna julienne the green onions. You can leave them in two inch stalks if you like. All right, I know that's a little bit more work than, you know, my usual can't be bothered self wants to do, but it's all about the mouthfeel and I don't like biting into big chunks of green onions, so I will take the time to shred that. I'm also using four ounces of a cha siu, which is Chinese barbecued pork. I just bought this from the store. You can make it yourself. You can check out my videos on how to do that if you like. And I'm just gonna cut these into strands. About the same length as the other ingredients. So four ounces is approximately 115 grams, give or take. I'm also using about three ounces of bean sprouts. That's about 85 grams, it's just a handful. I'm also going to beat up two eggs. The thing about a lot of Chinese dishes is it's a lot of prep work to begin with. It's not really a lot, it's just chopping up the things. But once you get all of your ingredients together, the cooking part of it 
actually goes by really fast. So I'm also going to prepare the seasoning so that I'm not measuring while I'm trying to cook. So I have half a teaspoon of just plain white sugar, about a teaspoon of salt, I'm just using kosher salt, about a quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper, And I'm just using this, well, it's an Asian special blend curry powder. Nothing super special about it, but I'm gonna use two teaspoons of this. That's the heart of uh, the flavor profile of this dish, really. Yeah, that's why the dish is, is quite yellow. So I don't know how yellow it's gonna be, but we'll see. I'm just gonna stir this up. All right, that's it. Now we're gonna get to the fun part. All right, heating up my wok on a medium. If you don't have a wok, you can easily use a large frying pan. Once you see that wisp of smoke, add about a tablespoon of cooking oil. Okay, just going to spread it around a little bit. We're just gonna fry up our noodles a little bit. This just gives it a more toasty flavor. Just gonna let it cook for about a minute. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. So we just want it to be a little bit toasty. I'm just gonna put this back in the bowl. I'm gonna give it a couple of cuts so that it's easier to eat and easier to cook. Add another tablespoon of oil. And I have 12 shrimp and it's about three ounces or so. They're just little shrimp. I'm gonna cook these quickly. Remove these, put them in a bowl. We don't want to keep them in here because we don't want them to overcook. Adding more oil if needed. And we're gonna do the eggs. Okay, remove the eggs. I just put it back in the same bowl because we're gonna put the eggs back in with the noodles later. All right, again, just a little bit more oil. And adding our onions and red pepper. Stir fry this for about a minute. Adding garlic, and cook that for about 30 seconds. Just until you start to smell the garlic. Adding the bean sprouts just for about a minute. Next, we're gonna add our barbecue pork. We just want the meat to be heated through. It already looks and smells so delicious. You can only imagine. And now we're adding the seasoning. Cook this for about a minute. Oh, if you thought the smell was amazing just before this, it's even more amazing now with the curry. Delicious. Now adding our noodles. So this part, I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit and you're just gonna patiently kind of move the noodles around until it's all evenly colored, and all the ingredients are evenly distributed with the noodles. And turn off the heat. 
and add the remaining ingredients. About a teaspoon of soy sauce. Adding our shrimp back in and our egg. Make sure you break up that egg a little bit. Okay. Teaspoon of sesame oil and about half of your green onions. All right, look at how much this makes. Amazing. I mean, my package of noodles cost me $3. I only used half, so that's like a buck fifty. Oh, it's getting heavy. Okay, rest of the green onions going on top. You are not going to get this amount of food in a restaurant. And this was a fraction of the cost. Are you all ready for? Yep. Oh yeah, the taste. This dish has nothing to do with Singapore or Malaysia. You know, you just get used to the flavors and the smells when you go into the HK cafes. And this is one of those gold standard dishes that you, you get in said restaurant. So. When Flo was cooking it, the aromas and the colors and the texture, just, just looking at it, it's a visual feast. So let's get into this. And I personally like the restaurants that put like, extra egg in there. So if you like it extra eggy, rock some more eggs. So good. Mmm, that Chinese curry, so good. Mm, textures, just playing together. Great mouthfeel overall. Right. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna love this. And you guys are gonna save a ton of money too. Awesome, thanks dude. Yeah. Dining out is still costing a pretty penny. So if you can save some money and still eat well, then do that. For more Hong Kong style recipes, check it out. I will see you over there. <laughs>